In over 22 years of practicing HOA law in California, I thought I had seen everything, but I was wrong. Yesterday, I was contacted by a homeowner association board in Los Angeles that desperately needed the help of an experienced HOA consultant because their association had been impacted by the coronavirus. To make things worse, the board had handled the situation poorly over a period of several weeks before calling me. I've changed a few identifying facts to protect the identity of the association and its members. Otherwise, what I'm going to report is completely accurate. The association is a 40 unit condominium association in Los Angeles. It's typical of properties built in the late 1970s. It has a fairly high level of deferred maintenance and minimal reserves. Before the coronavirus had its impact on the association, there were five board members. Several weeks ago, two of the association's members were diagnosed with the coronavirus. They could no longer work and they stopped paying their assessments. Over the next few weeks, eight unit owners lost their jobs due to the coronavirus. All eight announced that they would not be paying their assessments due to the loss of income. At this point, 10 of the 40 units were not paying monthly assessments. Their revenue was now down by 25%. Then 11 units announced that if others were not paying assessments, they were not going to pay assessments either. This brought the number of non-payers to 21 of the 40 units. These people justified their decisions not to pay on the basis of what was fair to them and their fear of losing their jobs and having no income. At that point, there were 19 people paying and 19 people weighing their options on what to do. What did the board do over this period of time? Out of compassion, they took no action to protect the rights of the association and those members that were paying their assessments. Where does the association stand financially now? Number one, their reserves are nearly exhausted. Number two, their cash flow, their current cash flow, has required them to stop making all repairs and maintenance except for those things that are absolutely required to be done as a result of an extreme emergency. They are no longer setting aside reserves as required by law. This is going to have a severe long-term effect on this association. They have also lost valuable time by not initiating appropriate collection activities and they have also made it very easy unintentionally, but they've made it very easy for members of the association to justify not paying assessments to the association. The next thing to occur was that three of the five board members abdicated. They resigned, leaving all decisions to the two remaining board members who were relatively inexperienced but now had to make all decisions for that association. In short, they had a major problem on their hands. I bring this situation to your attention because this scenario will happen to other associations 
possibly even your association if you don't take the steps necessary to protect the members who are paying their assessments. The coronavirus has had a huge impact on homeowner associations financially and otherwise, making it important and necessary for boards to consider many issues, including their legal duty to the association that they serve. Most board members are aware that they do have a duty to act in the best interest of the association as opposed to what is in the best interest of any one particular homeowner. Most board members understand that they have a requirement, a legal requirement to do what is reasonably necessary to collect assessments for the benefit of the association and its members. They understand that it is necessary for them to hire a competent and compassionate agent to assist them in the collection activities that are required. While every delinquent owner must be treated equally, not every individual, not every situation is identical. The board needs to take into consideration many factors, including, for example, does a particular property have equity in it? Is the property up for sale? Has the owner listed it for sale? And another major factor to be considered is, is a mortgage lender taking collection action that could possibly extinguish the lien and the ability of the association to collect its assessments. These are all factors that a professional will consider and will make necessary recommendations to the board so that it can likewise make prudent, reasonable decisions about what it should do and what it should not do. Board members must sometimes make very difficult decisions. There is no doubt about that. And with the coronavirus out of control at this point, boards are faced with major decisions. If I can assist you in helping you to make these decisions, please contact me. My name again is Michael Chulak. I have been hired by more than 100 law firms in Southern California and beyond, and beyond as a consultant and as an expert witness in property management and homeowner association matters over more than 30 years now. I've also been an HOA attorney practicing for more than 22 years. Again, my name is Michael Chulak. I can be reached at 818-991-9019. Thank you for listening.